We'll get in here real close in a second. So I bought a second one of these little 12 volt 750 milliamp Deltran battery tender junior deals. And folks use these for their motorcycles and their cars, lawnmowers, ATVs, snowmobiles, watercraft, yada yada yada. But uh, what I wanted to show you in this video was hooking it up. And we'll get in here really close. I've got my uh, Dewalt area light. It's a left-handed metric area light shining down on the battery. All right, let's get in here real close and I'll show you some of the good stuff. The new little 12 volt junior Deltran battery tender is a little bit different design. It's a little bit less weight and it's a little bit less bulkier than the other one. But from what I can tell, the performance in and how it works is no different from the one I got three or four years ago. One really great thing I like about this one is it has a 12 foot cord that goes into the little SAE connector right here and let me show you how I wired this dog up the one thing I really didn't like when hooking up a battery charger are the alligator clips be it a Schumacher battery charger or whatever brand and even the Deltran comes with little alligator clips a little fuse deal with a 7.5 amp fuse which is cool but uh, really didn't like you know fiddle farting with a you know those little alligator clamps and putting it on the battery post and then popping off and all that stuff so I used the ringlet eyelet on top of the battery terminals there and I'll show you what I did all right real quick these are the Deltran battery tender ring connectors eyelet connectors and I had to snip these off and put uh, the smaller head to fit the battery terminals on the Chevy and these are heat shrink heat wrap terminal ends what I did is I cut this doubled the wire over push it into the terminal here and then crimped it down and then heat shrunk it into place and I'll show you that right now all right I'm all scrunched in here on the side of the truck let's look at the battery and my work and I'll show you what I did everything is original here with the uh, black battery cable now here in the terminal end where the screw is, instead of taking the nut off and putting this connector in there, there was enough thread left on this battery terminal screw, whereas I just put the ring connector there and just added, thankfully I had another nut that would fit that threaded screw there, and I just put it on there, and that worked out really good. Now let's take a look at the positive side here, and this is kind of neat. And hopefully you can see this and it's not too shaky. I did essentially the same thing. I just added a little nut right here. And the fuse is right here. And it worked out really the good. The SAE connector is right here. Now the good thing about this SAE, SAE connector is if you're not using the battery tender, you know, plug it in, plugging it in here, you just put this protector on there. One of my concerns is underneath an engine underneath the hood of the engine you know, of course it gets really hot so I wanted to hopefully this wire will be okay here you let me know what you think and uh, hopefully it'll be okay but the, the fuse is a 7.5 amp fuse Solid red light means that it is charging. All right, check this out. Got the Uni T DC clamp meter hooked up to the positive side of the lead. And there you have it. So do you remember when vehicles had lights when the hood was open? When you open up the hood, the light would come on. I'm kind of glad that they got away from doing that. Maybe the high-end cars have them, but this one doesn't. I remember... I,